The passion of the people is something I've never ever come across before. There's a great uh, friendship extended to newcomers into the city. We find it a bit more friendly, a bit more relaxed. It's got a very big heart. Massive opportunities in the area. There's a real ambition within the city and there's a real influence of change taking place. Wow, this is, uh, there are things happening and it's great. I think one of the things that Hull's got, or the Humber region's got at the moment in particular, is energy. Good infrastructure, good connections. We've got great people, they've got great attitudes, they're very positive about their work and, and they're innovative. Good raw talent. Um, there is an energy, there is an appetite, there's an enthusiasm and that goes right through public and private sector. I think anyone who visits the city and speaks to anybody involved in business here can, can sense that vibe and sense that energy. It's a great area for people to work in. I think this is a real hidden gem in England. People who come and visit us professionally for the site for business reasons and people that have come and visited myself and my family, we moved to the area, have been absolutely amazed at what there is here. You've got a great coastline, a great culture in Hull. I always describe it as a place where there's lots of space, there's space to think. Fantastic countryside in the wolds. It's a terrific area to be in. Well, uh, clearly in my career I've been all over the world, but it's always nice to come back here because, the, because it is a little gem and there are very nice villages and very nice countryside in the Yorkshire Wolds and the North York Moors, not very far away at all, and you've got a beautiful coastline. You can live in a beautiful countryside and work in a big city. Commercially and industrially, you can get a lot of square footage for your money. So if you have a business, it makes absolute sense to be up in this area. People think of Hull as the end of the line, but actually, it's the beginning of Europe. Uh, and there's a lot of raw material comes into this port. Um, for us, that's the key reason for being here. But, but logistically, within the UK, down the M62, um, everywhere is in reasonable reach, so it's not a bad place to be based uh, for any sort of manufacturing business. The headquarters are here in East Yorkshire at Tannin Farm. There's 40 people on site here at the farm. Uh, we've got a technology centre in Prague employing 20 people, and we've got an operation in Argentina as well doing software development. 37 different countries, I think, the last time we looked at that we we're creating products for. We're following our customers around the world. Critical to our success, I think, as a business, and we've grown ridiculously fast, is the relationships, the links we have with the university and with the whole college. Academically, I think we punch well above our weight. Um, we would sit within roughly the top 200 schools in the country in league tables. A whole college is a centre of excellence. It's a good place to be. It's a secret little haven and it's a nice place to be living with kids. There's lots to do. People are genuinely surprised and really excited by what we have to offer here a very vibrant nightlife and uh, sort of cafe culture has developed over the last four years, really. It's quite a European city, um, and that's what I think people connect with. We're very fortunate in this region to have some really great um, suppliers, some great farmers and fine food producers. There are so many in the, in the Yorkshire and in the East Yorkshire region. I think it's quite unique here in that people genuinely want to help each other as businesses. There's lots and lots of expertise in this part of the world. We found some fantastic people very quickly when we advertised here. We found a very talented uh, group of people. It's, a, it's an area which is a great place to live and work um, and we certainly haven't found it in any way impact upon the business, in fact quite the opposite. It was probably one of the best strategic decisions we've ever made. It was absolutely fantastic move. It's just given us that room to grow. Um, most of our clients actually are down south, and yet all of them enjoy coming up to East Yorkshire. It's two and a half hours on the train. Um, they get to get away from the office. We're in lovely surroundings here. If I want to get to London, I go down to Brough, Hull trains, and they're in two hours. Uh, there's several airports in this part of the world. I have no problems whatsoever. I can get from Humberside to Amsterdam. It takes me anywhere in the world. Fantastic. I think this would be a great place to relocate to. Um, there's some beautiful rural properties and some really nice properties in urban settings and I mean, it's good value up here comparatively to a lot of parts of the country. 
My husband's an artist and, uh, and I mean anyone would be inspired by the sunsets in this part of the country as well. And there's nowhere that you'll go that they're quite as beautiful as around here. Well, I would say come and have a look. I think that's the most important thing you can say about Hull. It will surprise you on every level. And invariably, once they come and have a look, they find that the reality is very different to the historic image that's being portrayed. The city sells itself very well once you arrive and experience what it has to offer. Despite its fantastic transport networks, Hull is a very, very difficult place to leave.